God is expanding our borders. He has opened the door of theater and dramatic arts. I'm very honored to stand here to present the work of the Cheryl Nimhart and the Exusia. Cheryl Nemhard is co-founder and artistic director of Exusia Media Group. Actor, singer, songwriter. My guest has stage managed for Guys and Dolls and Heaven's Rehearsal 2008. Today's guest is none other than Cheryl Nemhard. Director, producer, as well as author is in the studio with us. She's been artistic director for the Toronto City Mission, creating arts programs for at-risk youth. He's mad because I'm telling people about Christ? They're planning to kill you! No! She was once the most notorious gang leader around. Now, a warrior for God. From 25 to life to a second chance, man, you can't even tell us the same guy. I just want to get out of this neighborhood. I got my money. I got my rep. I'm strong. I don't need anybody. I'm in control of my life. Ain't none of us going to make it out of this. I dreamt of this day. Change those streets? Me? Nah. But God can. to extend the love of God and show that the love of God can conquer violence, the worst and cruelest of, of actions, that love can blanket all of that and change their lives. We want to address the issues, the tough issues that are plaguing and infecting our society. I really appreciate um, the church ministry and, and para ministries, and I, and I think there is such a need for um, those that labor in the harvest that way. But there has to be a remnant, there has to be a group of people that will go and touch the untouchable, that will reach out to the broken. So we want to bring this gospel to prisons, we want to take it across the nation, we want to fill churches and theaters. 3,600 people over that number saw the musical last year. The Lord really spoke to me and said very clearly that this message, this hard hitting message needed to leave the four walls of ministry to really affect the change that he wanted. What do you call this? Come on now, what is this? It's clean. What? It's clean, I cleaned it. Did you now? Yes, I did. Hmm. I see. Come here. Why? You've been through this before now. Don't make me come over there and get you. You will not like it. <laughs> Does this look clean to you? Stop huh? it. Destiny, why are you always lying to me, huh? No, please stop it. Clean it again. <laughs> what? You got something you want to say to me, Jacinia? No. <laughs> That's funny, because, you know, it sure looks like you got something you want to say to me, Jacinia. You better wipe that stare off your face, or I'm going to wipe it off for you. 
Where the hell have you been? I had basketball practice after school today. How you got basketball practice and don't tell nobody? I told you yesterday. <laughs> you told me. Oh, so you're a big man now. Whenever you want to go, you just go, right? You're the foster parent now, huh? It's not like that. I Shut up! You pull that stunt again, I will pull you off the basketball team. You understand? Yeah. Yes, who? Hey, go! Nah. I forgive you, man. For everything. What? The Exusia Media is really, it's, it's got many divisions too. We've got the production division, which is theater, film, television. We have an educational arm, which is empowering students. We have a publishing arm, which is uh, all of the books and novels and screenplays that we're doing. We have a music arm for all of the soundtracks, because I do, I write all of the music myself. We have a community arm, which I'm most excited about. Mm -hmm. Really touching the people and affecting and bringing change. EMG education has exploded mm -hmm. and we are re-educating the students on what's most important in their core values and we're bringing it to the district school boards and so we've created a, a Black History Month play wow. called um, uh, Railroad to Freedom mm -hmm. and it really talks about freedom on a really um, amazing community level. The fact that um, being free is really just relieving ourselves of racial bias and fear and um, getting to know people beyond the color of their skin. $10,000! You can see! <laughs> I'm not Nelson! You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Look, I'm not a monster. <laughs> then stop acting like one. We're doing three major theatrical productions this year. Wow. Uh, and they're going to tackle some really amazing topics. Uh, first one is My Brother's Keeper, which is going to tackle juvenile delinquency and the group home system. Okay, great. Can you tell me again why it is that you're here with us today? My mom left me alone for a really long time. I had no food or anything. I ended up going to the townhouse beside me because I was so hungry. My stomach was really hurting. Because it's winter, I had no coat, and so I was really glad they opened the door. After, I had some macaroni and cheese, and the police came when I went with them. which is a play that um, I, I've written. I've written My Brother's Keeper and Touched. And Touched will deal with domestic abuse of women, physical, mental, and emotional. Girl, you must have lost your mind. 
Don't you ever turn your back to me when I'm talking to you, hear me? There was a rise, there was a bubbling of those that were called to the arts, but not necessarily singers. So they were dancers, hmm. or they were actors, or they were mimers, or they were painters. And realizing that God lives there hmm. as well. And um, it brings it to life. It literally brings the gospel to life. Wow. Dance is another one of those things that animates the love of God. You can communicate so much mm -hmm. through the fine well, arts. God said, behold, I, I do a new thing in this earth. And I believe that the arts is the new evangelistic tool of our time. I believe that singing, acting, dancing, they're rising in the kingdom of God. Listen here, man. I don't know about you, no. And now theater is, is really expanding. And I'm so honored and humbled to be one of the people that they call pioneers or at the forefront or whatever. And I'm able to animate and communicate the love of God and principles like forgiveness, overcoming, strength, hope, faith, um, resilience, prayer. So these are things, that's why I do what I do, because it's a tool that reaches everyone. It, it draws everyone in. Theater is one of those connecting things. So do not dim your light because of fear, doubt, or worry, but let it shine brightly, knowing that your gifting is as big as this moment. For me, the message is simple. Love God, love man. Serve God, serve man. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. First of all, I need to give God all the praise. Amen.